another video and in today's video we're going to be putting a JB4 on my wife's N55 135. I have the other N54 135, but no, this is the N55 135. You guys can see that we started a full build series. We've done already a couple of modifications to the engine bay, and it's just looking so, so, so much better. Some of you guys are saying to actually put back the cowl, at least that little plastic piece that goes across there to cover that up and cover that up. So maybe we'll do that in the end of this video. We'll see what we end up going with, but it's a good thing we have it off right now because the JB4, we do need to get into that, and we do need to plug in cables all around this area so it just worked out <laughs> this engine bay is looking so 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 much better already and i cannot wait to add the jb4 so this is the full harness that it comes with we do gonna have to do a little bit of tapping into not a big deal but it does also come with the tapping kits right there uh, i also got of course the wireless bluetooth connect can i always have to get this every time we go with the jb4 because honestly it's just a must and then we got the jb4 right here and obviously uh when you're in public roads put it on stage zero and then if you ever go to the track put it on stage one and have some fun but yes i'm super 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 excited to install this little bad boy if you guys have the 135 and 55 2011 like i do uh it is the a model there's an a and a b make sure to check out their website to get the exact one for your car but yes from what i heard stage one automatically gets you up to 13 psi of boost which should actually feel like a pretty big difference so without further ado let's go ahead and just do a cinematic mode of installing it i'm gonna have like a diy type of an install on my second channel link down below but yes, let's just get it to full time lapse mode. JB4 in there, everything is reorganized, looking beautiful. So now, hopefully, hopefully, if we just push the two down buttons on the steering wheel, we should be able to choose a uh, map one and honestly, you know, finally become stage one, which is pretty awesome. But obviously, you need to do it on roads that are legal. So I'm gonna go find a racetrack real quick and I'll get back to you guys in a second. I honestly cannot wait. Oh, I cannot wait. It looks so good, guys. Oh my god. Look at it. Just take a look at it, man. So, uh, you guys saw Jonathan picked up the phone. Nice of him. He was going to come and uh, get into the video, but my wife, he called and it's her car, so she gets first dibs. So, um, she's over here sitting passenger seat. We are currently on stage zero because we have no tune on right now. I'm trying to find a racetrack because obviously you cannot use a JB4 unless you're on a racetrack. Um, you know, obviously we live in California. We got all these lies we got to abide by. So I catch you guys at approximately three hours. I literally had to drive three hours home to pick up my wife and I'm driving three hours again, uh, you know, to a racetrack. So, uh, yes three hours all right guys so this is gonna be the first pull let me just make sure uh okay actually yeah we were on stage one so now we are in stage zero yes we are on stage zero at a racetrack here in um uh, sonoma so uh yep so right now we're technically pushing 8.5 uh psi of boost that is a stock boost it's assuming that everything else is working properly which i mean thankfully i mean I haven't seen any issues so far so don't jinx it Everything's gravy in the Navy. Don't jinx it. Uh, and then stage one actually goes all the way up to 13 PSI. So it's actually crazy. You get an extra 4.5 PSI uh, just from stage one tune. 
Wow. Actually, 5.5, 5.5. I almost messed up my math. Any hoozles, see you ready? This is stage zero. This is how you, your car normally performs, all right? Are you, are you gonna break my hand? No. Gonna I'm gonna just roll into it. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. So you see, that was that was quick, right? Yeah. That's your car. You know, you have a th you have a 135 boosted, you know, car, or whatever. All right, guys. Now this is stage one. Are you ready? Let's do. Let it. me know honestly if you feel any difference. Oh. Like, be honest to the viewers because they're not gonna spend 500 dollars on this tune if they don't feel a difference. I honestly, I've I've had this on my N54, my F10, a couple of my other BMWs, even the truck. But I genuinely feel on this car, I feel it the most. Let's see how you react. All right. Okay. Ready? different right yeah what's that <laughs> did you record yourself or me i recorded myself a little bit i'm gonna go back to the racetrack and uh we're gonna go ahead and give it one more attempt oh i'm ready all right this is map zero guys is this map zero <laughs> i don't think it's map zero <laughs> no, i think maybe this was map one but uh, i think i messed up Your car is this much faster on just literally stage one and you don't need anything for stage one it's it's honestly guys like i've never felt it honestly like my n54 jb4 it like it i felt a very small difference but this car it's very 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 noticeable it's crazy how noticeable it is on this car so if you guys have an n55 e chassis i mean whew. Ah, it's losing traction that's the problem stage one and we're on the side of the road and uh this is why you guys have to upgrade your charge pipes i don't know if you guys can see down there yeah my charge pipe blew out like literally broke right off of the car look in there babe i don't know if you can see it but the charge pipe literally broke right off of the car so that really comes to show guys whenever you modify your car especially with the tune you have to have to have to upgrade your charge pipe so i'm gonna go ahead and go to burgertoonie.com and go ahead and order myself an aluminum charge pipe because uh yeah, so we don't lose boost like that. Literally, because I was flooring it, and I was like, what happened to the boost? And then the engine completely cuts out. I was like, oh my God, wasn't that scary? It was scary. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I, I thought I messed up the car or something really badly, but no, nah, luckily, you can literally, I had a feeling it was a charge pipe. Just, I had a flat face for a second, you like. For a second, for a second, but then I was like, it has to be the charge pipe. All right, so let's go ahead. Go home. We can't really go anywhere else right now because our charge pipe is completely blown out. The good thing is we can still drive the car, but we're just not gonna have any boost. It's gonna be a long drive home, three hours with no charge pipe. Sheesh. We are officially back home, guys. I cannot believe this. First off, this engine bay, again, is just looking so good. I love this car so much. Shout out to the lights as well. It just makes this car look amazing. It's so weird. It's kind of hard to explain to you guys. Basically, every time I modify my car and I put boot mode, stage one, uh, JB4, all this stuff, I always upgrade the charge pipe at the exact same time. I never actually do the tune and not upgrade the charge pipe. And, uh, you know, I, I start to think, like, is the charge pipe really a concern? Is it really an issue? I never really had an issue previously with charge pipes ever blowing out on me, like, ever. Stock car, even high mileage cars, never had a stock charge pipe blow out on me. But now that it's tuned and I didn't upgrade the charge pipe, this really comes to show, and I'm actually happy. That makes me feel like all the money I spent on all those charge pipes in the past have actually paid off because it's kept me from being on the side of the road, and it actually stays intact. I don't know if you guys can see the charge pipe right there, but it is completely like disconnected. And you might think, oh no, just put it back. It's literally cracked. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it literally just broke right off, and the charge pipe is just completely gone. So unfortunately, it does not look like I'm gonna be picking up Jonathan and giving him a little bit of enjoyment in the 135 today, but 
Hopefully in the next video, we're going to be trying to do some more mods to this thing. I have a lot of things to actually modernize this car. It's going to be hopefully the next video. I'm going to be trying to upload like every single day this week. I'm going to try. Like don't hold me to it, guys. But I'm going to try, guys, for you guys. I've been lacking on the content and I've been lacking on the mods. And you know what? Let me go ahead and give you guys a week jam-packed of mods and a bunch of fun things on this channel. So in terms of car stuff, that's going to have to be a day. I'm going to have to call it a day. I really can't do anything else with this car because I, I literally cracked the charge pipe. I am so, it's so weird, but I'm so happy. I cracked it because now I know like hey nor now when you go buy a charge pipe You know, it's worth every penny because you're upgrading it and it's never gonna give you this issue when you go stage one again So I mean, I don't know. It's really weird. It's really weird. I don't know how to explain it Anywho, me and my wife are looking for a full 1M conversion the front bumper the fenders um, Are we're gonna be getting original 1M front fenders and front bumper from BMW? We're also gonna be getting the rear bumper originally from BMW at 1M my only thing is though, is these quarters. These quarters, you can buy the entire quarter panel from a 1M, which costs about $1,600 a side, let alone that's without the labor and installing it and all that stuff. It's probably gonna cost another probably $1,600 a side. So we're looking, you know, somewhere in the six grand mark after paint to do the, the rear quarters a proper way. And we got the car for 10. I don't know if I just wanna do six grand just for the quarters and then spend another, you know, three grand on the bumpers and the fenders because it's 1M parts, they're expensive. So obviously, Spending another 10 grand to do the body kit isn't ideal. So if we can get the rest of the kit, you know, the, the body kit for about 3K and figure out another way to get wider fenders in the rear, but an actual 1M look, that would be ideal. If there's any fender flares or anything that you guys have seen in the rear that like people can actually buy kits for, let me know down below. If you guys can link me anything, I'll literally buy it right now. So link me some kind of like fender flare kit that's on eBay or somewhere. I don't really know. I've been looking everywhere. I can't find anything that will make the rear quarters pretty much a 1M. Without further ado guys, I'm gonna go ahead and head inside, probably get something to eat. My wife's probably cooking up something. I probably should show you guys. I probably should show you something when she's cooking up. Yeah, no, let's do that. Let's go eat lunch together today. Sheesh! Bye bye my G. Bye bye truck. The beast. The little monster. I got the big monster. And I got Lightning McQueen over here. Oh man. This thing is just gorgeous. Honestly, the carbon changes the entire car, guys. Oh my lord. And also, not to mention these wheels. Guys, imagine the original wheels. Okay, so this isn't even like that crazy thick but imagine the original wheels was like that it was it was literally about that thick that's it it's crazy how I believe these are like 10 in the rears right now and originally it was only eight in the rears. So huge, huge, huge difference. I believe another two inches basically in the rear, which is crazy. Anyhow, anyhow let's go inside, get something to eat. Uh, see what the wifey cooked up. Now this is what I'm talking about, guys. I mean, who needs Chipotle when you got a meal like this, guys? Oh my Lord. Now obviously this isn't a mukbang video, so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this good stuff and I'll come back to y'all when it's all over. So guys, this is the next day and I just want to give a huge special shout out to Burger Tuning. That tune honestly just felt amazing. I've never felt it to the point to where it even cracked the charge pipe. Like it literally, you can tell that there is a big difference to the point to where the charge pipe couldn't handle the new boost pressures. And I was like, oh my lord, it actually feels, it was really, it felt really good. But at the same time, yes, now we need a new charge pipe and again, we'll get that from Burger Tuning, the aluminum one. I might as well get the elite aluminum one because that one's super badass. But yeah, anywho, the entire video I was saying stage one, stage zero, all that stuff. Basically, I, I, I literally tried correcting myself throughout the entire video. I basically meant to say map zero or map one. I don't really know much about tunes and stuff, but obviously I'm not flashing the car stage one, stage two. This is the JB4 and I'm just putting it on map one and I put it back to map zero. It's basically what I was doing the entire video. So just to kind of, you know, fill you guys in. But anywho, we do have a couple more mods for my girl's N55 and I just called Burger Tuning up, but we're getting a couple more. So I'm pretty stoked about this. It's gonna be a pretty insane build. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button and if you guys are liking the daily uploads make sure to smash the like button without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go i ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that i wanna be better not worse man it hurts i'm on this earth with my words and i put them all together in cert because i wanna have worth